Voters on Prince Edward Island have returned the progressive conservatives to power, with the party seeing some major gains. At dissolution, the PCs held 15 of 27 seats, the Greens had 8, and the Liberals 4. Tonight, the unofficial results show Dennis King's PCs with 22 seats, that's a gain of 7. The Liberal Party lost one seat, now with 3. The Green Party, which formed the official opposition last time, lost six seats, ending with two. Let's bring in CTV's Jack Morse now live at Premier Designate Dennis King's headquarters in Charlottetown. Jack, voters delivered a decisive majority tonight. Yes, certainly. And as you can see behind me, there's still a huge amount of energy here among King's party faithful. Dennis King will, of course, become the premier, 22 of the 27 seats. A testament to his personal popularity, he won his own riding by a healthy margin. There was a hero's welcome here by his party faithful as he came into the room, hugging, shaking hands, a lot of energy and excitement. And that continues now, even with the music here. It was a major defeat tonight for the Greens. The Greens, as you said, lost six of their eight seats, only two remaining. And Peter Bevenbaker, the leader of the Green Party, almost lost his seat to the VPC challenger. The Liberal leader, Sharon Cameron, didn't win a seat. So even though the Liberals kept three and will become the official opposition, they will not have her as the leader anymore. The NDP and Island Party didn't gain any seats. The NDP, of course, have only ever had one MLA on the island. As for the popular vote, the PCs got 56%, the Liberals 17, and the Greens 21. In his victory speech, King promised a swift return to government. We're ready to move this province forward. We're ready to lead and continue to lead with humility and with kindness. We're ready to work day and night to ensure that we have the best days that lie ahead of us. And my friends, we haven't shied away from challenges over the last four years, and we're certainly not going to shy away from them for the next four years. I've been re-energized by my meetings with folks all across Prince Edward Island, and we're ready to get to work. Tonight we party, tonight we celebrate, but tomorrow we get back to work rebuilding this province and making it the best place to work. Now that was an hour and a half ago, but the energy is still going on here. As for voter turnout, it was about 68%. That's down almost 10% from 2019, which was already considered quite a low year for Prince Edward Island. The Prime Minister late this evening issued his congratulations to the re-elected King. The two have worked well together, developing a relationship, particularly recently with King being among the first to sign on to the Prime Minister's new health care transfer for plan. And Stephanie, in his speech, expanding on that a little bit, he thanked his candidates for running a responsible and clean campaign, as he called it, and says that they continue, intend to continue to conduct government that way. He also praised the opposition, all of the candidates who ran against him, and the opposition leaders for putting up their time. However, the PCs are the clear winner here tonight. Stephanie. Thanks, Jack. CTV's Jack Morris reporting live tonight in Charlottetown.